Today we got a special vehicle here. This is a 1959 Dodge P300 route van. And it's got a special aftermarket body on it. This is known as a universal sales aftermarket body. So what they did was they took the chassis and the engine and all that and shipped it over to Universal Sales and they put this body on it. Now I've only uh, found four of these so far that in my looking. So there are probably more but only four that I know of including this one. And uh, this one happens to be rigged up as an RV. And that was probably done back in the 70s. So we'll take a look around this guy. And the important thing to notice is he's got a face on him. I've taken this to car shows. and I tell them little kids, I says, you watch him. He'll blink at you. And they'll stand there and watch waiting for him to blink. He's got his sun visor on right now. But he got a big old grin on him. We even gave him a name. We called him Hebe. That stands for Hebe Cool. Because you got to be cool to have a little soul patch under your lip like he does. See? So, well, we'll walk around him. I got him up in South Dakota. And that's funny because if you look at the license plate down here, it'll say great faces and great places. So that's kind of what he is. He's a great face. We'll shift around here and try to keep out of the sun. It's going to be hard to do. But we'll do the best we can. I will tell you this one, I haven't had it run. It's missing his radiator. And the... Uh, Springs on that got a little pulled one time when they must have moved it out with a tractor up in South Dakota, but that's the way I got it. Now these doors are sticky. You can see right there it rubs. We can open it gradually. Oh, that opened pretty good. Give it another push here. I'll show you why they're sticky in a little bit. But there's what you call a suicide seat. That thing flops back and forth. I guess that's so the uh, driver could make deliveries. But uh, anyhow, he's got a uh, wide block. 318 engine in him. That was the first year for the wide block. I'll climb up in here and we'll take a look around. <clears throat> okay, I made it. You can see he has a bit of a kitchen in him everything but the kitchen sink but then who wants to do dishes when you're camping so I guess you can eat out of the can or uh, eat off of paper plates I'll take a see if we can get a picture of this equipment plates here. Let's 
They, one of them said Dodge, and one of them said Universal Sales. Delaware, Ohio. So I assume they shipped it from Detroit down to Delaware. Let me see how I open this thing again. Oh, okay. I got it. Maybe. There we go. It's not hard to open. You just got to know how to do it. See? So there's that big old white blocky 318 in there. Those are good engines. I got one in a 67. That runs like a batter. There's a little heater blower there. There's the heater. Vents to the outside. Now this is my clue for why it was from the 70s when I was converted. Because we had to take all this really nasty red shade carpet off of there. You know, but he's got the stereo speaker holes and Oh my goodness. Got his gauges. Little closet over here. Now there's there's why those doors are sticky. See? Because that wood up against there over the years has swelled up. And rubs against the door. There's a power converter. Probably transforms 12 volts into 120. Got an outlet on off. Got a BMW clock with it. I don't know why, but it was it was on there. Some funky 70 lights, 70s lights. Those little copper tiles are there. They look like they're from the 70s. Well, we'll open this door because in there we got us a shower. See? And a mirror and a potty and a drain to the outside. Well, like I said, it's got everything but the kitchen sink. We'll back up here a second. We'll take a look over here because this is an ice box. Okay. There you go. You put the chunk of ice down there in the bottom. It drains out. Or, or no, I guess the ice. There's the drain. So the ice goes on top, and then it keeps all your beverages cold. You gotta have beverages when you go camping. Maybe in here you keep a few cans of soup or whatnot. Now this is kind of neat here. Now this is this pillow. That pillow, I got a couple pillows and a handmade quilt from South Dakota with this guy. We keep it covered up so it doesn't fade in the sun out here. A couple small windows. It's got a fishing pole rack. Yeah, jealousy window on the back. I'll put this pillow back here in the, in the closet. Oh, here's where here's where you keep the cans of soup and the meals ready to eat or whatever you want.
Got a vamped up here. A couple lights. Cozy. Cozy little home away from home. Oh, it'd be fun to have this thing running and driving again. <clears throat> Take the wintertime trip down to Arizona. Well, you'd have the only RV like this in the, in the RV camper. <laughs> All right, that's the tour of the inside. We'll walk around out here. Let's see how this closes. Oh, that closes all right. You can see it's pretty gotten rubbed a lot. Actually, that opened better than I thought it would. Here's here's a nice feature. See that? That clearance light is is glass. Oh yeah. All right. Well, move back up here and look at it. Get back a ways. Pan out, as I say. So that little jealousy window there is in the bathroom where the shower is see there there's another one of those glass clearance lights Spare tire. Place for a couple of propane tanks. Be pretty neat. There you can see, it used to probably be turquoise on the bottom. And I think white on the top. But it's been repainted sometimes. I think there was a water tank under there. I'm not sure there still is. That's so narrow down there. I don't know if I can get through there and give you any kind of view on this guy. I guess I'll try. Might as well try to open this door just for fun. Oh, how about that? Yeah, how about that? Pretty neat. And wide mirrors so you can see behind you. Okay, well that's old he be cool. Now, for any of you guys out there or gals that are thinking about making this into a food truck, I can tell you right now, once you get it, then I guess you could do with it what you want. But I'm not going to sell it cheap for no food truck, so there you go. Otherwise, give me a call. 970-989-1020. Thank you. Have a great day.